I don't know if my way of doing it, of, of practicing versus performing, was the ideal way. <clears throat> I don't know if there is an ideal way, and I think that the problem is that we try to find a method for everyone. And when you try to find a method for everyone with something like art, it especially doesn't work because art is expressive, and we're trying to learn how to be expressive, and everyone is expressive in a different way and on a different level. Uh, so there are basic things that we all have to learn. I think really, for me, the, the secret is balance. If you balance how much practicing you do with how much uh, performing you do, then you have a satisfactory experience. Uh, I, I also I tell my students that um, actually I don't want them to practice ever. I want them only to perform. And if you have an attitude that every time you touch your instrument you're performing, then you don't have a problem when you suddenly have to play on the stage. It should be a continuation of what you were doing before. So Love. the other thing I tell my students is um, I remind them that art is subjective and music is, of course, art. Because of that, um, there is no such thing as a good solo. There's no such thing as a bad solo. There's no such thing as a good song. There's no such thing as a bad song. So no one will ever play a good solo because as soon as you think it's a good solo, then when I hear it, it doesn't affect me. Maybe I'm not moved by it. And the other way around, I hear something that just really touches me. And for someone else, it, it's just ineffective. Does that mean that the solo is good? Does it mean that the solo is bad? Neither. It is art. It is subjective. So we as artists only have to be concerned about two things. And that is expressing ourselves through the art with honesty and clarity. The honesty everyone understands because you want to be yourself. You want to play even with your influences, even if you're uh, playing a Bach piece or, uh, or a Dizzy Gillespie piece, it doesn't matter. You want yourself to come through. Even if you're playing a Dizzy Gillespie solo or a Ray Brown solo or Oscar Peterson solo, it doesn't matter. You still, even with their ideas, you want yourself to come out. So that's honesty. Clarity is the second part. Clarity, what does clarity mean? Clarity is when musicians maybe rush the tempo or drag the tempo or play to, um, I'm sorry, have troubles with intonation, play out of tune, or um, don't play the correct notes on the melody, or play different n wrong notes on the chord changes. All of those things are the things that we work on as artists, so that when I play with a group, or by myself, when I perform, the audience doesn't have to listen through my problems to get to my expression, to get to my meaning. Instead, I'm much more clear about what it is that I'm trying to express. That's why I'm working on things. So even if I'm in this room, I tell my students, even if I'm in the room that people call the practice room, but we must call the performance room, even if I'm in this performance room, I'm working on things, I'm, I'm analyzing, I'm going back, I'm playing it over and over again, etc. I'm, I'm doing all of this study. But then when I go from there to the bandstand or to the stage, then it's a nice seamless transition from performance to performance.